Hey guys, today I would love to crochet with you this fantastic Christmas stocking. They are super easy, super fast, requires less yarn than the normal one with the heel and sole because they are just two parts, then we will sew them together. It's super easy, you will see now. And uh, the only thing you need is the yarn. If you want that the holes are smaller, so the matching hook must be smaller than recommended on your label, you can always experiment with the size you want. So uh, the whole project is around uh, 10 centimeters. They are mini stocking. If you use chunky yarn with the same pattern, you can get a big one. Later, I probably buy the chunky yarn and crochet the bigger Christmas stockings. And this one, they are perfect for advent calendars, for gift wrapping, for anything, and of course for your Christmas tree. So not to lose the time. I think I have practically all the colors. I want to try the blue one. I hope this color will let you see the stitches well. So let me find the end of the yarn. So let's make a slip knot. Grab the yarn, the working yarn, wrap behind. So you create something like that and now pull the yarn through the loop. So this is your first slip knot and now just chain 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have a chain of ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So right now you have to insert the hook into the second chain after the hook. So one and two. This is the second chain. Grab your yarn, pull through. You have two loops, yarn over, pull through two, one single crochet. Then the next chain Insert your hook of two loops. You have two single crochet. And like that we continue until we have nine single crochet. So three, four, five, Six. I'm a bit slow in this video, so even those who have never crochet, they can have also this fantastic Christmas stocking. So let's count. We have two, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. So right now, you must insert your hook into one chain, it will be your 10th chain, and to 11th. And now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and you made a decrease. So we made a decrease, and now we must make four single crochet. One, Two, three, and four. So we have our last chain, 
and in our last chain we are going to make four single crochet into the same chain so So right now we are going to work on this side of the chain, the other side. So first of all we are going to make four single crochet. So one single crochet in each chain. It's better to weave the end, so put it on top of your chain and put it inside. So we are going to have one, two, and four here we had a decrease so where we had decrease we are going to put an increase increase means two single crochet into the same stitch one and the second one into the same stitch and now we continue with one single crochet until the end of this chain I cut the yarn so it's easier for you to see so this half loops four five six seven actually for this project it's not necessary to be so precise because you're not going to have this sock on your feet but nine uh, what I mean is that we will continue to make decreases on this side and where we make increase we make increase on this side so if you don't uh, think that you know very well you can always use the stitch marker to know where you have decreased and increased. In general, at this point, you must make a decrease, and at this point, where is having this curve, you must make an increase. It doesn't matter the exact stitch, but I know some of you worry, so it's easier if you put the marker so you know. And now uh, we are going to start our second row. Yarn over chain one and turn your work so in this position and now we are going to make single crochet in the second stitch so one and two in the second one you make single crochet and now we make approximately nine single crochet so three four five they're both loops right. six seven eight nine and here you see you are on the curve make one increase So two single crochet into the same stitch and now we are going to make 
one single crochet in each stitch until we have this four single crochet of the previous row. So make one, two, three, and four. And we stop here because we had four single crochet into the same stitch and now we are going to make four increases. So in each of these we make two single crochet. So on this part of the sock you will always have four increase. One increase. Second increase, the third, and the fourth increase. Okay. So now we are going to crochet um, four single crochet until we have this decrease. So make one, two, three, and four, and make one decrease. So insert into one stitch, then to the next one, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through all three, you made a decrease. And now just continue with one single crochet until the end of this chain. So just make nine single crochet and you arrive to the end. Now chain one and turn your work and continue until this decrease point so insert into the second hook in second stitch story and we have two three four five, six, seven, and eight. So I see that the decrease is already better to make from the eight to nine stitches. I never count actually in these patterns, that's why I am so um, trying to count all the stitches, so those who like to count, they be sure. And now we are going to make one single crochet until an increase, until this stitch where we have two. So let's make one, two, three, and four. So now we are going to make one increase, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, and in total on this side you must have four increase. So make one increase, and one single crochet, now the second increase, one single crochet, the third increase, one single crochet, the fourth increase. So we are going to make our fourth increase. 
and continue until this stitch where we had an increase we make an increase there so it's our pre-last row so here make an increase and then continue with one single crochet until the end of this row by yourself so we have crochet a little bit it already looks like a sock and now our last row you see how fast this pattern works up so chain one and the same stuff so one single crochet until you have an increase here and make an increase so as usual in the second stitch two three four five six seven eight making an increase so as I already told you this pattern don't worry you're not going to use this sock so just you can crochet approximately so here on this side always one increase where you have this kind of curve always one decrease and here you will have always four increase that's the main point if you miss uh, if you like uh, do in the stitch or this stitch and increase it will not change dramatically I already crochet all of these socks and actually I never count the stitches I just follow approximately if you want of course you can always put the marker to know where you had increase you increase where decrease you decrease and like this you are safe so here I see that I have my increase stitch so I make an increase and as I told you on this part of the sock the toe part you must have four increases so we make one increase and now we make one and another single crochet in the next stitch so between the increases we have two single crochet now we make another increase and two single crochet then another increase and two single crochet And in total you must have four increases and two single crochet between them. So <clears throat> continue until this decrease point. One, two, and here we can make a decrease and then continue until the end and one part is ready so uh, I have finished and it must look like this we can uh, pull the yarn and actually I forgot to chain one and pull the yarn and cut it and right now you have to make another one and then we uh, slip stitch them together another one the same like this 
So right now I'm going to crochet the second part of the sock. Normally I have never crochet the second part because you can always rewind and rewatch. But this time I want to crochet with you and to talk about meditation and relaxation a bit because nowadays it's very important that people are more stressed and as you know crochet helps both of these things. So if you are not interested in this part of crochet you can uh, skip this part and go um, crochet by yourself the second half and then I show you how to slip stitch in case you don't know or rewatch the beginning. Why I'm talking about meditation? Because actually some of my subscribers ask me about this part of crochet. They ask if I watch some uh, videos or listen to music, but mostly I prefer to meditate in silence. It's better, of course, if you meditate outside when you hear the nature and some natural sounds, it's really healing. The crochet can heal your body. Not the crochet itself, but the whole process that you will feel relaxed and just concentrate on the stitches, hook, yarn and the sounds around you. Try not to watch or think something in particular, but just concentrate on the pattern itself then your work will be much more beautiful and it will be more meaningful and as you know we are surrounded by energy like this your piece will have more energy and really it's better for your body so let me just count as you remember we have two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, and the last 17, and now 9 single crochet, starting with the second stitch. So I'm not forcing you to meditate meanwhile you crochet, but really if you try I think you will enjoy it so much. Just um, try not to think about your normal day life and if you have like one hour or less or more, even sometimes you may have just 10 minutes to crochet, try to just relax and see the yarn and how the pattern works up and your stitches. So let me count. I must have nine, two, four, six, seven, eight, and nine and now I will make a decrease and that's the good part of crochet that you can take the hook and the yarn and go anywhere it's better to go where nobody can distract you just in the park of course I'm in Lisbon where the weather is very good so even in winter Maybe now, for the most of the people, it's hard to crochet outside if they have cold climate. And on the toe, I will make an increase of four single crochet into the same stitch. Three, and four. But you can also crochet in the library somewhere where it's quiet. Of course, if you want some time to crochet with the movie or listening to music, it's also fine. But if you want to experience something beyond, like to see with, to stay with your inner self, it's really a good starting point to start with crochet because you will concentrate on the stitches, your mind and attention will be focused. Of course, it's better the pattern that doesn't require too much counting, that you know very well by heart, and you will just crochet and involve in this process. Three, four, and we are going to make an increase into the fifth stitch. And uh, when I have private lessons, one-to-one -one tutorials, 
here before pandemia started actually I always teach my students to let their mind relax and not to uh, crochet and then watch or listen to something it's really um, like swimming or other activity that can give this sensation for your brain and mind of total calmness and if you lack calmness if you want some peace in your mind it's a really good thing so now I'm finishing this row and of course this pattern makes me distract from my speech but I just want to know if you already meditate so if you do you can write in the comments below and I want just to see if there are any of my viewers who love to have some special time in while they crochet or if you prefer to watch TV or a movie so I hope I'm not off camera so now we are going to one two so if you like this format also you can write in the comments below and maybe I will record some videos where we will meditate and crochet together so you can uh, experience something different where we can choose the simple pattern the bigger size hook is better because it will require less attention from you and here I see my increase and I will make an increase. And now I will continue with one single crochet. And where we had the increase I will make four increases. So I have made four increases and now I will crochet until I have the decrease. So the best part of meditation and crochet of course is to do it outside because the natural light it's very good for your eyes to see the stitches. If you have a sunny day and you have some time, especially now when many people work from home, maybe you will have some extra time for learning the new skill. You must really consider this hobby because um, it's hard to start meditation from scratch if you've never done anything. It's hard not to think about your everyday problems. But when you crochet, you can concentrate on stitches, yarn, and meanwhile, your mind will not think about your worries, your fear, or anxiety will slowly slowly pass and all these negative emotions will release you and plus you will have such a satisfaction when you will make something beautiful with your own hands it will be really rewarding so you must not um, just do it for maybe having the final product but for the process itself and the final product of course after you will crochet several times it will improve your skill and you will enjoy sometimes I had uh, lessons with the people who had very big struggle by holding the hook or the yarn and they really thought that they will give up crochet after a while but actually they continue and now they are very good with that so I'm sure anyone, men or women, they can learn this skill so I have crochet a bit off camera so the video will not get like one hour for the tutorial of so simple pattern but I wanted just to suggest to my viewers if they want to have some video tutorials where we make something more meaningful maybe some patterns also that will you know uh, make you use less plastic like i have in the net bags that's 
since I started to crochet the net bags, actually I use far away less plastic containers, plastic bags, because I try to think about the environment and all of the substantial, zero waste and everything. So if you are also interested how crochet can help you to do these things, if you are interested in these eco projects, you can always write in the comments below and we can have more videos like that. Also if you are interested in meditation, relaxation, <laughs> they are all like things that you can do already starting by now and they will really bring more meaning to your lives. Maybe you will share these ideas uh, and your projects with the people around you and they will appreciate the things that you can crochet because really you can crochet nowadays very many things and I think it's really cool. So what I wanted to say about this pattern is that even if they are not exactly the same you think maybe you don't place the decrease or increase in the same actually at the end they will be the same because the main thing you have one increase one decrease and here four increases so they will match and continue and here you can make one increase and continue so now after I finish this one I show you how I slip stitch it's very easy and sometimes I have two ways to do that So that's it. Here you can see we have the two parts ready. They are the same and we can match them like that. You can start to... So here we have the chain and here as well. Insert into the very first stitch where you have the slip stitch and pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. Now go into the same two stitches and pull through the loop on the hook so it's safer. And now you continue to go under both four loops. All the four loops of the hook and slip stitch. So go under all four like that. Grab the yarn and pull through the loop on the hook. That's your slip stitch. And you continue until the end of this work. So Go all around until you arrive here. So the next step is not necessary but I like to make it. It's just to go one single crochet into each. Um, here is not a stitch. So to make a smooth edge I just insert randomly the hook and put one single crochet around. You don't need to count the exact number of stitches, just um, put in each free space that there is. So you will have very nice edge, and even if you want to keep your sock without this um, brim, it's called, I guess, without this white stuff, you can uh, just keep with the one single crochet like that and the sock will be beautiful or you can change the color 
I will show you and just add this beautiful accent to your sock. Oh, stocking. So you can crochet inside, putting on top. You see already from here that it looks very cute. So right now I'm going to change the color. I already did one single crochet all around. Now just cut the blue yarn and I'm choosing the white. So let's take the white color. And actually it's very simple. Now in all of these single crochet you make four rows of white color or any color you want. Also, I think for this blue color, maybe the red one would be cool, but now I have the white. So, just uh, you can weave all the ends. Just go into each single crochet and make one single crochet. And you can make, of course, a long one, just like that, or a short one. So I have just four rows, four rows. So we have finished our sock. I decorated it with a snowflake. Of course, you can make embroidery one. Super easy, there are many tutorials on YouTube. And uh, I attached the loop. Actually, I just put the yarn and I think it's pretty beautiful. So, um, I have several socks. You see this yarn was thicker with the same hook size. Actually, this one is much smaller. But I think if you match the yarn of the same type, you will have same size. If you want to have different for your Christmas tree, even with the same size of hook, you can get different size of the socks. So this I make all the same practically, but the blue one was thinner and I realized it later. So in case you want to see how they look without stickers, if just crochet they look beautifully. I swear they look beautiful even without any decor, but if you have, it's also cool. So imagine you just crochet and they look like that. All the Christmas colors. And let's put the white one. And I think you can create a good pair of them. Like this maybe you can see better. So you can put them on the branch, on the tree, anywhere to create an advent calendar and they really look fantastic. Something like that you can create for your Christmas decoration. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions you are welcome to ask in the comments below. Please join all my social media and see you again next time.